So I have my little game world here. My player can run around and so on. Just the world feels a bit small. Uh, I'm restricted to just this little window. Uh, I can make the window a bit bigger. I can't make it much bigger. I want to be able to like work over here as well. Let's do that. So the thing that we're going to do is in the events, we're going to add a new event. And this one won't have a condition. It's just something that happens all the time. The action is that the player, is that right? No, it's under other actions, isn't it? It's under other actions, layers and cameras. I can center the camera on an object and I have to choose the object, which is the player. So I click OK on that, hit play, and I've got a bit more room to work with. So that's great because I can now uh, zoom out a bit and uh, have some more space to run and jump. A um, couple of issues I noticed though, well one sp very specific issue is that my zero for the number of coins I've counted is stuck up the top there. We're going to use a layer to make it just always in front of us. So I've got the layers window open. Uh, if you can't see it then click this button here, open the layers editor. I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to give it a name. This is the new layer I've added. I'm going to call it UI. Sometimes you call it HUD for head up display. And that layer isn't going to move around with the camera. So if I now click on my uh, text thing there for the coin count, I'm going to change its layer. So it's going to be the only thing which is on the UI layer. And you can see that if I hide and unhide things. So hiding and unhiding each layer uh, in turn, I can see there's only one item on that layer. It should give me the desired effect. Uh, yep, yeah, that zero is staying up in the top left corner now. I'm happy with that. I'll tell you one thing I'm not entirely happy with. This, this camera feels a bit uh, clunky. The fact that my player character is fully and only centered in the middle of the screen at all times. And uh, this is a good learning moment because if I go into this event and double click this event to edit it, what I ignored a moment ago was this little video here, which tells you how to do a smooth follow thing. I'll just uh, make this nice and quiet. Um, so you don't have to wait for me to do a video in order to learn how to use these things. You can watch this guy, uh, who's hilarious. He's always got like stuff on his face, which is great. Um, and in this example, you can see he's making it so that the um, his character is followed by the camera in a smoother way, which just feels a lot cleaner and nicer. Uh, so, it, you know, this is a very standard thing to do, is to try and learn from this, and I'm sure you do it with my videos as well. You kind of scrub ahead and find the bit where it's got the information about what he actually does, and we can see it right here. It says, change the X position by, and change the Y position by. So you can watch the video, and it's pretty straightforward. I might even just look at it right now. Uh, I'm going to, instead of center the camera on an object, you center, you set the camera X position and you set it by using a lure value, which uh, works out a particular place um, to go to, which is in between two places. So you say, here's the camera position, here's the player position, and just kind of move towards the player position. And if you want to make that work, watch the video. There's no point in me doing it twice because he's done a perfectly good job of it in this video here. All right.